Great. <laughs> point, shh, point A, B, and C, and D are the vertices of a pyramid with a triangular base. Calculate the lengths of A, B, and A, C. Well, we need to find out what A, B, and A, C are. Remember, A, B, the vector A, B, is how you get from A to B. To get from A to B, you go from A back to the origin and then from the origin to B. So that is minus the vector that takes us to A plus the vector that takes us to B, giving us a vector AB of being minus 1, minus 3, minus 9. So the length of AB is the square root of minus 1 squared plus minus 3 squared plus minus 9 squared. Um, I was a little bit surprised that this wasn't a nicer number than this, but anyway, it came out as being root 91. Not particularly nice. Sorry, we like root 91. It's my favourite number. AC is minus A plus OC, which gives us a vector of 1, 1, 5. And so the length of AC, using our Pythagoras theorem extended to three dimensions, is 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 5 squared, which gives us root 27, or 3 root 3 if you want to um, simplify the so, Great, we found the length of AB and AC. Oh, and the angle BAC. Well, the angle BAC... I don't know if it looks like this. In fact, it doesn't. So there's the angle BAC. So we need to consider the vectors AB and AC when we find that angle, don't we? And so the angle BAC... Uh, remember, we've got this, this thing that we've remembered. Cos theta is... A dot B over magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. So in this case, that is AB minus 1, minus 3, minus 9, dotted with AC, which is 1 and 5, over the product of their lengths. And if we work that out, we get, um, what, what do we get? My, a negative 49, is that right? Over the square root of 3 root 273. And if you do that, it's negative. So we're going to get an obtuse angle. Um, it is 2.99 radians. Oh, was that 171 degrees? Right down. Uh, sorry? 171.31. Okay, so that's the angle that we got. Um, notice the question didn't say find the acute angle. They sometimes do say find the acute angle. But it didn't. So we didn't. Part two said, um, show that AD is perpendicular to both AB and AC. So we need the vector AD. The vector AD, again we're following the same pattern here, is going to be minus A, minus OA, plus OD, which is 8, 6, 3, giving us a vector of 6, Four, two. Is that right? Minus um, two. Minus two. Thank you. And we need to show it's perpendicular. Well, that's the scalar product thing again, isn't it? Because the scalar product, if the angle between them is 90 degrees, cos of 90 is zero, so the scalar product would be zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to do A, B, dotted with AD. Um, and that 
is, where is it? Um, AB was uh, minus 1, minus 3, minus 9. This is 6, 4, minus 2, which gives us minus 6. Take away 12 plus 18, which is 0. Therefore, they are perpendicular. And if we do the other one, AC dot AD, we have AC was 115 dot 6, 4, minus 2. Gives us 6 is 4 minus 10, which is also 0. Therefore, they are also perpendicular. Ah, it's all going so well. Good. Finally, calculate the volume of the pyramid ABCD. And we're told the volume of the pyramid is a third times the base area times the perpendicular height. Now, the, if we're thinking about what we've done here, there must be some connection with this, because this, that's quite difficult to find the volume of the pyramid. So we've got to think, what have we done already that helps us with this? Well, we calculated two lengths, and we've shown that we've got two, we've got kind of a mutually perpendicular thing. We've got a, a nice little square corner going on in our pyramid. So that, that tells us that our pyramid, from what we've already worked out, if we think about what we've done, our pyramid is one that does <coughs> that, that kind of thing. Does that, does that kind of work? There we've got this, uh, this nice right angle in there, where we have A, AC, or AB and AC are both perpendicular to AD. So that's what our pyramid looks like. Can you picture that? No. If we think the other thing we did, although the angles aren't that clear from what I've done, is that we found the angle BAC. That was the angle we found at the early on. <coughs> so the, the triangle BAC, we know the lengths of two of its sides and the angle between them. And we know that this is a right angle here, so we know the height of the pyramid is just the length of AD. So they're the things that we can use to help us with it. It's all given to us in the question. Where that angle, that angle there that. is 2.99 radians. We've already found that. We've got the lengths of AB and AC, so we can work these out. So uh, um, I actually just put it all together in one go. Um, but what we've got is that this is a third. So it's a third times the area of the base, and the base is half AB sine C, so a half A, B, that's the length of the two sides, times the sine of the angle between them, sine 2.99, times by the height, and the height is the length of the vector A, which we haven't actually worked out yet. So we're going to do that. So we've got a third times all of that. And we're going to multiply that by the length of AD. And AD, we found in the previous bit, was 6, 4, minus 2. So that, I haven't written this down, that will be your, what's that, 36? Root, four, uh, root 56. Mm. Is that right? Mm. Okay. And if you do that, it comes out to a very nice answer. It comes out to be 28 over 3. Or 9 and a third. Which is quite neat, actually, if you think about it, isn't it? There we go. That's uh, math.